There we are. How are you folks? I'm going to read Poem for a Goodbye by Norman McCaig today. The inspiration behind it are these fine folk here. These are my brothers and sisters and this photo was taken in the aftermath of what was about to become the most epic row of all time. And then it got resolved, thankfully, and we all grabbed each other for an impromptu hug. This photo was taken and it's a definitive moment for us in our family. Uh, my eldest sister Mary's not there, but she's still there. So uh, this poem is about that, that aching, longing feeling you have when you're dying to see your loved ones. And I know a lot of us are separated from our loved ones at this moment in time. So hopefully that will pass soon. But until then, here's a poem to hopefully keep you going. Poem for a Goodbye by Norman McCaig. When you go through my absence, which is all of you, and clouds or suns no more can be my sky, my one dissembling will be all, the inclusive lie of being this voice, this look, these few feet tall. The elements which made me from our encounter rich cannot be uncreated. There is no chaos whose informality can cancel so the ritual of your presence, even gone away. You then and I will masquerade a lie, diminishing ourselves to what can seem one without the other, while a greater man in hiding lies behind this look, this smile. It's he who will across sad oceans meet you still, startling your carelessness with what once was. His voice from this past hour will speak, cancelling time's laws. In the world's presence his hand will touch your cheek. You leave behind more than I was, and with a kind of sad prevarication take with you more than I'll be. Until that day, when nothing's to do but say at last, and we are home again. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? So I will love you and leave you with that. Uh, take it here from, from me and Chewy, who's keeping me company in these COVID times. So look after yourselves, be kind, be safe, stay well, and hopefully we'll all see each other soon. Good luck.